tonight. There are six tornado watches in effect in 13 separate states. And again, before this is all over, 150 million Americans will experience this weather system. We have it all covered tonight. We'll start off with Mike Seidel from the Weather Channel. He's in Arkansas this evening. Mike, good evening. And good evening, Brian. 24 hours ago, this small community was bracing some for, for some bad spring weather, battening down the hatches for a rough night. But no one could have foreseen what could change this weather pattern, what happened here, and what changed lives forever. There it is. Massive, massive white tornado coming over the hill. Storm Chaser video captures the enormous tornado that swept through Arkansas last night. Oh, my goodness. This thing is huge. Just 25 miles north of Little Rock, in the small town of Volonia, more than a dozen homes were destroyed. Well, it got pretty rough for a few minutes. Officials say the tornado, called a wedge because of its shape and large width, had wind speeds as high as 135 miles per hour. The wind just started howling. In this town of 3,800, there was little time to take cover. Then all heck broke loose and something come crashing through the front door and it just you know, we just thought the house was going to explode any second. Today, residents awoke to find neighbors missing and homes flattened and began to try to pick up the pieces. It just dropped everything right there. Heartbreaking. Everything you've worked for all these years is gone. With a forecast warning of more bad weather, officials worry they may not be able to help everyone who's been affected before the next storm hits. We're just going to take it one step at a time and... Just do the best we can. It's all we can do. Brian, the same storm system with its damaging wind and heavy rain now threatens other communities. My colleague Julie Martin is north of here in Poplar Bluff, Missouri, where they've already evacuated a thousand residents because the levee on the Black River had been breached. Julie?